We're going to have more witnesses like we've had today that the Democrats will parade in here and they're all going to say this. So and so said such and such to so and so. And therefore, we got impeached the president. Actually, we can get more specific. We covered this a little bit ago. They'll say something like Ambassador Sondland said in his deposition where he said, Ambassador Taylor recalls that Mr. Morrison told Ambassador Taylor that I told Mr. Morrison that I conveyed this message to Mr. Yarmouk on September 1st, 2019 in connection with Vice President Pence's visit to Warsaw and a meeting with President Zelensky. And if you can follow that, that's the Democrats' plan and why they want to impeach the president. That's what we're going to hear over the next couple of weeks. Mr. Jordan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 55 days, 55 days between July 18th and September 11th that there was a delay on sending hard-earned tax dollars of the American people to Ukraine. We're not talking to any country, we're talking Ukraine. Ernst & Young said one of the three most corrupt countries on the planet. Our witness on Friday, she testified in her deposition, corruption is not just prevalent in Ukraine, it's the system. So our president said, time out. Time out. Let's check out this new guy. Let's see if Zelensky's the real deal. This new guy who got elected in April, whose party took power in July, let's see if he's legitimate. Now, keep in mind, as has already been discussed, in 2018, President Trump had already done more for Ukraine than Obama did. That's right. President Trump, who doesn't like foreign aid, who wanted European countries to do more, who knew how corrupt Ukraine was, did more than Obama because he gave him javelins, tank-busting javelins to fight the Russians. Our witnesses have said this, others have said this. Obama gave him blankets, Trump gave him missiles. But when it came time to check out this new guy, President Trump said, let's just see. Let's just see if he's legit. So for 55 days, we checked him out. President Zelensky had five interactions with senior U.S. officials in that time frame. One was, of course, the phone call, the July 25th phone call between President Trump and President Zelensky. And there were four other face-to-face -face meetings with other senior U.S. officials. And guess what? Not one of those interactions, not one, were security assistance dollars linked to investigating Burisma or Biden. But guess what did happen in those 55 days? U.S. Senators, Ambassador Bolton, Vice President Pence, all became convinced that Zelensky was, in fact, worth the risk. He was, in fact, legit and the real deal and a real change. And guess what? They told the president, He's a reformer, release the money. And that's exactly what President Trump did. Now, over the next few weeks, we're going to have more witnesses like we've had today that the Democrats will parade in here and they're all going to say this, so-and-so said such-and-such to so-and-so, and therefore, we got to impeach the president. Actually, we can get more specific. We covered this a little bit ago. They'll say something like Ambassador Sondland said in his deposition, where he said, Ambassador Taylor recalls that Mr. Morrison told Ambassador Taylor that I told Mr. Morrison that I conveyed this message to Mr. Yarmouk on September 1st, 2019, in connection with Vice President Pence's visit to Warsaw and a meeting with President Zelensky. And if you can follow that, that's the Democrats' plan and why they want to impeach the president. That's what we're going to hear over the next couple of weeks. That's what we're going to hear. But no matter what they do, no matter how many witnesses they bring in here, four facts will not change, have not changed, will never change. The call shows no linkage between dollars and the investigation into Burisma or the Bidens. President Trump and President Zelensky have both said on the call there was no linkage, there was no pressure, there was no pushing. Ukrainians didn't even know the aid was withheld at the time of the phone call. And most importantly, as has been pointed out, the Ukrainians didn't take any specific action relative to investigations to get the money released. Now, there is one witness, one witness that they won't bring in front of us, they won't bring in front of the American people. And that's the guy who started it all, the whistleblower. Nope, 435 members of Congress, only one gets to know who that person is. Only one member of Congress has a staff that gets to talk to that person. The rest of us don't. Only Chairman Schiff knows who the whistleblower is. We don't. We will never get the chance, we will never get the chance to see the whistleblower raise his right hand, swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. We'll never get that chance, more importantly, the American people won't get that chance. This anonymous so-called whistleblower with no firsthand knowledge, who's biased against the president, who worked with Joe Biden, who was the reason we're all sitting here today, will never get a chance to question that individual. Democrats are trying to impeach the president based on all that, all that, 11 and a half months before an election. 
will not get to check out his credibility, his motivations, his bias. I said this last week, but this is, this is a sad day. This is a sad day for this country. You think about what the Democrats have put our nation through for the last three years. Started July of 2016 when they spied on two American citizens associated with the presidential campaign and all that unfolded with the Mueller investigation after that. And when that didn't work, here we are. Based on this, based on this is a, the American people see through all this. They understand the facts support the president. They understand this process is unfair. And they see through the whole darn sham. With that, I yield back.